Hello Youtubers, welcome to my channel Try It Yourself and today's project repair, windshield repair. I kinda have a, a video like this made a little bit ago but today I actually reacting much faster than the previous time. I am re doing repair when I got just a chip on the windshield so uh, before I got uh, too far out of hand uh, was driving to Wyoming, caught in a windstorm, so I caught a, either a piece of salt or sand, I don't know what it is, but uh, chip on the windshield, and uh, well, let's see what it's going to look like when I'm done. So uh, here's what it looks like from outside, you know, just a classic windshield chip that kind of went between the layers nothing you can feel nothing from the inside but that's what it looks from outside so and uh, my first choice is this windshield repair kit from rain x you can get it on the amazon or uh, walmart and uh, i always have it with me on the road again the guys who follow the channel know what i'm doing expediting so uh one of them this is already empty this is just a new one i just got it and today's temperature that's what it looks like from the from the inside so today is 60 degrees outside sunny weather perfect time for this kind of stuff so let's get with it everything that i will be using uh in this repair is actually part of the kit i mean except this rag of course so you pull out this blade and the next thing you do is actually try to uh, feel if you don't have anything left inside that inside that chip so basically what you do is you know you might have a little part of rock salt or whatever so you just scratch it out so next thing you do you place this fixture with the four sections cup make sure that you dead center so this hole is dead center of that uh, impact so it's gonna be a little harder with me over here because it's a vehicle but I gonna be double checking from the inside so place it like that I think this is close to center then you push it like that make sure you have a really good section and then just double check from the inside. Yeah, I gotta make sure that, uh, and I'm a little bit off. I'm a little bit too low or too high. I need to move it down a little bit. Okay, I actually got a ladder. And if you're gonna look from the side, from the center of the hole, right there, that's that's my little chip. Okay, next step, it has a little rubber pad over here at the end, so you have to screw it down until it actually gonna be pushing firm against that windshield and uh, will push up a little this fixture so we make sure it's tight now you're not going to be able to see it from the outside so double check from inside the hole and this thing is centered I don't know if you're going to be able to see it with a shadow um, but that's that's what it's again The crack is like right here, that center over here, right against the hole. 
next step is to put three to, to six drops of this adhesive try to get all the way inside over there so I, I put six one two three four five six when you're done they have a little cap over here because you definitely didn't use up all of it at once so put a cap on so look inside so it's kind of drain inside that tiny hole over there and then you screw this kind of like pusher or whatever you're gonna call this thing and you screw this thing all the way tight to the point that you should be able to see some of the glue squeezed out and you screw it all the way all the way until you might see some of the glue and now you wait you wait about 10 minutes until it actually forces this adhesive inside that crack well at this point you're not going to be able to see how the magic is happening but now you just wait at this point if you're actually going to be looking at the stuff that little chip should start disappearing if if you got lined up perfectly but uh at this point you're just gonna have to wait it actually not 10 minutes but it's like four six they say but you know i say up to 10 minutes it's actually it's not drying until you put the uh plastic strips so you just wait this thing should force the resin inside that little chip or crack yeah right there it's a good angle over here see there's a little bubble over there trapped in there so we uh and there's some of it already disappeared of that uh, chip some of it at the top you could see a little bit still showing but at this point we wait and then we unscrew let that air out and we're gonna uh, let's do one more push with that little pushy part so at this point you unscrew this uh, a little pusher let the air out and re-screw it for a few more minutes to actually uh, let the resin push all the way in and every last bit of that crack chip and the windshield I had to shift it a little bit to get a better a location because one spot looks like wasn't getting any raisin resin so this little drip over here on the bottom a little run that's that's not a big deal but that's some of the glue got out so if you if you're not sure at this point would be uh okay to actually unscrew that pusher and put a few more drops in there but I think I have, I have enough. If you look from inside and you can see some of the chips still showing, make sure you unscrew this pusher and put a few more drops in there and retighten. In my case, it looks pretty, pretty okay-ish. So at this point you remove and to remove it really easy. The suction cups have this little tabs over here you pop and just take it out the next step you put this you look from the outside if it looks well 
I wasn't expecting to disappear totally, but at this point you just put the skewering strip on top of it. Make sure you get the air out. Right there. Make sure you get the air out. This little dot over here at the I don't know if it's right here visible. Little dot, this air is actually outside, so I'm not worried about it. This little dot uh, right here, that's the, the chip that I have. And at this point, they recommend to actually uh, put the windshield in the direct sun. And as you can see, I'm a little bit in the shadow. So I'm gonna drive forward for a little bit. So I moved it in the direct sun and in the sun it's the drying time is approximately five to ten minutes, so now we wait. So after ten minutes or so, this thing over here you're still gonna be able to wipe it up just with the whatever you're gonna use. You just wipe it, it didn't dry at all. It's not gonna dry over here. But the strip over here. You could try it with your finger if you're not sure but see that's that's what it looks like when it's dry right there see a little spot so what you do at this point you take the same blade see what that's what it looks like when it's dry and you just cut see no damage to the glass at all don't worry about it So this over here, little mark, that's, that's where the chip was. That's what it looks like when, right here, when it's done. So what they recommend, if this is not satisfactory for you, you can put another drop, repeat the steps. But for me, I'm not worried too much about it because this is already strong. This is passenger side, will be covered with the sun visor. So this is not going to be visible even. I mean, you really need to look really hard to actually see this spot over here. And if you ever been to the windshield repair shop, it looks even worse than this when they are done. But you have to pay 80 or 90 bucks these days for this kind of stuff. My, or my repair kit that I bought from Amazon this time is called, cost 12 bucks. And I actually have enough to do another one. So you can, uh, you can see that it's, easily can be done by yourself and uh you know like i said my goal was to stop it before it actually start cracking even though this stuff repair cracks up to 12 inches but it's much less work to repair it before it get to the you know it becomes any worse than this so that's how you do this repair So that's how you do this repair when this with this uh, rain X uh, windshield repair kit if this video was useful for you give me a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel good luck